I am now introducing Insane Ian. Achievement unlocked! I bet I can eat more waffles than you, so that's what I'm gonna do. Waffles are the most perfect food, and I've got a lot to prove. Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian. I'm a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here, and that's why this week we are reacting to Divide, the Gospel of the Geiger, a Fallout musical by The Stupendium. If this is your first time joining us, yes, I am a comedy musician and I react exclusively to comedy music because that is where my field of expertise lies. What this means to you is that I'm gonna pause the video. Kind of a lot, actually. This way I can uh, pause and not laugh over or talk over any of the jokes and miss them. This way I can discuss how the video and lyrics work in tandem to help enhance the jokes. I can give breakdowns and discussions about the jokes and how they work or don't work. Sometimes I even explain jokes, because that's always fun for people. And sometimes I just sit back and laugh my damn head off. It's a crapshoot whatever you're going to get, but I think it's a good time either way. If you like that sort of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, and all sorts of other exclusives like that. Anyway, all of that out of the way, let us dive into this one. This one came out a couple weeks ago. Uh, I was on vacation, so I was not able to react to it when it came out. And, uh, you know, uh, easing back into things after being gone for a while, uh, released a music video, which you probably saw at the beginning of this video. Um, a clip of, anyway. And uh, so, yes, diving into another new Stupendium song. I'm excited for this. I think this is about the Children of the Atom, which are the religious-slash-cult that you meet in Megaton in Fallout 3 that worship the giant atomic nuclear bomb that has landed in the middle of their town and has not detonated. Uh, which, if you play the game, you can do various things with. Uh, but yes, let's let's figure this out. Let's dive in. It's a Fallout musical, so it seems like it's probably on, along the same lines as Stupendium's Neath musical, in which uh, lots of different themes, many different characters, and it's ten minutes. Which means that my reaction is probably going to be an hour or something. Uh, whatever. We'll find out. Let's go. Didn't have the Stupendium logo that time. Interesting. There's the Stupendium logo. <laughs> Vinyl Emporium. All oh, the mustache has fallen. Kind of subtle. Remember to subscribe for new videos. I love having that all be like kind of diegetic into the video itself. That's really great. Church of the Children of the Atom. Atomic Mass. Open today. Open day free water. Atomic Mass. That is such a silly, great pun. Because, you know, churches you have mass. Mass at church is not the same as the mass of an object, the weight of an object. Uh, what, not really its weight, but what its mass is. And, uh, you know, I, I think weight and mass are, are slightly different. Um, but an atomic mass, you know, talking about how much the atomic weight or power of, of an atomic bomb. Uh, yeah, puns. We know to expect them with Stupendium, and we know we're going to get a lot of them here. There's Schwabity there in the front row. Atoms today and tomorrow. The organ player is on autopilot because <laughs> it's a skeleton. Lots of extras in this one. Behold, he is coming with the clouds. I think that's Rustage behind Schwabity. Uh, behind and to the left of. Uh, I don't recognize anybody else in there, uh, but uh, already we are we are full production house here. Uh, 
just from Jump already, <laughs> the amount of production value in this is already incredible. And every eye shall be blind with his glory. Every ear shall be stricken deaf to hear the thunder of his voice. Those are some incredible makeup effects on Stoops there. Uh, yeah, pretty sure that's Rustage back there, and there's Schwabity center frame. Let the men, the women, and children of the earth come forth to gather and behold the power of Adam. This place is not a place of honor. No highly esteemed is here. Let those who dwell here in his favored land. That's an interesting prop of... Is that a communion bucket? Is that a donation bucket? We'll find out shortly, but that's a lot of mannequin arms on that. To make it look like it lives in the universe of Fallout is uh, a truly fantastic testament to Stupendium and uh, their production team, and just the amount of care and dedication and preciseness they put into everything. That's really great. Attend now to the words of the prophet of Adam. Come forth and drink the water oh, okay. of the globe. It is kind of communion, not really communion wine, but the communion water. Drink the waters of the glow, meaning the irradiated water from the bomb that's in Megaton. That's where the children of Adam, I think, originated, or from, from Megaton. But clearly, they've branched out. This is not in Megaton itself. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Nobody wants to. <laughs> Polish your gun. Wake up the guy. <laughs> Drinking fresh water. <laughs> Clearly labeled fresh water. <laughs> Just so the audience knows. But also, you know, in case you don't have another flask that might not be fresh water, you want to tell them apart. Vocus stim. Wait, I, I want to go back and see what the vocus stim is for. Probably for singing. Yeah, focus stim. Relief from dry, sore, or irradiated throats. <laughs> Adds plus five charisma, too. So. <laughs> the glowing pellet. Oh, there go the eyes. <laughs> Jaunty from the traditional. <laughs> How to perk up your your congregation? That's bad trigger discipline on whoever is in the front row with the rifle. Uh, it's just something that bothers me. <laughs> Kate, take your finger off the trigger until you're about to shoot. Do not have it on the trigger before that. It's bad trigger discipline. Now let me take you back, my friends, to times long, long ago, an age before the waste you see today. Long before our fate would see the shine of Adam's glow. Long before his light had shined away. So before the bombs fell. Probably. If you all could come to fathom, not the smallest little atom, could hold a million stars in his embrace. The weapons are great. And their wisdom saw it fit to keep him prisoned. All that vision sitting vision with his grace. That's a, a power cell, I think, that usually powers you know, power armor, but also various and sundry other things within the universe. Um, Fallout getting a, a big resurgence now since the Fallout TV series on, on Amazon. Uh, Chalk Eaters just did a, a song about Fallout, but that was kind of more tied to current events rather than just the games themselves. Uh, and, you know, Stupendium tends to talk about more than just the games in their songs as well, so... All that fission sitting fizzing, uh, setting, f ugh. all that fission sitting fizzing within his grace. That's a great line. Um, I, I'm already digging this. It's, it's, it is, it's gotten very jaunty already. Yes. Then a schism started brewing, the beginnings of undoing, but we enlightened Adamites, we should beauty in their ruin, for with these two at war, we found the core of Adam's glory. 
So uh, that that tiny mini nuke that was sitting there, uh, again, a weapon that you can have in the game. You can have a mini nuke launcher as a weapon in the game. Uh, and also, uh, because branding is important, uh, Bethesda has released a mini nuke that contains all the games. Uh, recently they did it, and it contains... It's just downloads for all the games, but you get a little mini nuke that keeps them all in it. And I think previously before they had a, a mini nuke that had like some physical copies of games in it. But uh, yeah, no, I just realized that the podium that Stoops is using is a bomb itself. Fantastic. Let's get some mushrooms blooming. Uh, like mushroom clouds? That's... Well, I mean, I know they're, they're the children of the atom and they embrace the, the radiation and the atomic, but there's a problem with that, you know, obviously. Uh, and I think that that line is supposed to play on how problematic that is. Yeah, let's just make more radiation and atomizing of people. Yes, that's a, a good idea for the children of the atom. Uh, take it back a little bit here. The core of Atom's glory. It's great lines. Each division, soul's division, each particle have heart, though hard to see. Some really, really phenomenal lines in this. Uh, I, I, I will say, like, while Stupendium is primarily known for hip-hop and rapping, um, they still do a phenomenal amount of pen flexing just in lines in song formation, uh, in... Uh, melody formation, I should say, uh, rather than just, you know, hip-hop lines. Hip-hop can have melody to it, too, but, like, in a specific song to be sung rather than rapped, there is still some amazing uh, penmanship of writing lines going on here, and very good... They're good at writing. I'm taking the long way around of saying they're good at writing. It's been a while, y'all. I haven't done this in a bit. Uh, <laughs> let's take it back a little here to, like specify some of these things here. Now in every charged collision. In every charged collision, uh, atoms are obviously charged uh, and smash into each other, and that's what an atomic bomb is, is when all the atoms smash into each other to cause an explosion. Uh, so that is undeniably what the children of the atom worship. Each division, soul's division. Each division sows division. When an atom is divided, obviously when it's collided, you know, collides, or, it's, it, or an atom is split, that's caused the atomic reaction. But a division of the atom sows division between the people. Uh, yeah, just like great wordplay. In each particle have heart, though hard to see. Each particle has heart, though hard to see. Each particle have heart, though hard to see. Yeah, because particles, at atomic particles, are tinier than a human hand can show. Uh, you don't you don't see the atoms all around us. We're made of atoms, uh, but you know on a molecular level you don't see that. You need microscopes on top of microscopes. Uh, so you know the heart of an atom, uh, the core of it. Yeah, you can't see that. It's you can't see the atom itself anyway. There's a society decided we were better off divided and delightedly. Nice, nice, clean tone. Uh, hit that note very well. Not something I'm great at doing. Uh, the makeup is phenomenal. The sunken in eyes, the the flesh just kind of rotting away a bit there. Uh, just and and also the the tattoo marks, uh, the chain on the hand obviously being from Bioshock, not from Fallout. But uh, that's just Stoops' own. Uh, uh, tattoo. Uh, well, going for another uh, Voca 
pill here. Uh, <laughs> really, just phenomenal work already. So where's that cup? You know you ought to come to suck that glowing water. Okay, so that pill uh, changed the outfit from rags to a suit that also have swirling symbols on it. Gave them an evangelical's haircut, which is disturbing. Uh, and glasses and whatnot. Still the same character, technically, but not... I mean, it's played by Stupendium, but but it is a new character. That 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 Vita Voca pill has now changed who we were listening to now. It's an interesting plot device for the video. I like that. For my arms like we swore to use that water, spread our order. Here we crackle the guy, it's his majesty inside you. <laughs> That is a phenomenal line. Hear each crackle of the Geiger as his majesty inside ya. So a Geiger counter uh, registers the amount of radiation in an area. Uh, you hear it when playing Fallout. You hear that clicking noise, and that's, that's your Geiger counter in your suit to let you know that you're approaching a level that has high radiation. And the children of the atom worship the atom bomb, the atomic bomb. They worship the radiation. They drink from the irradiated waters because they feel that glow within them and think that it's somehow holy. And so having that hear that crackle from inside you, uh, uh, you know, hear the, hear the crackle as his majesty inside you, thinking that that crackle is God's voice, the voice of God being the atom uh, within you. That is so brilliantly written and, and brilliantly conceived as what, you know, their ethos is or what have you. That's so good. I'm going to take it back a little bit here because that's, there's, there's some more lines here that are, that are good. Starting with, with the opening line from this particular character is, Pass the cup, you know you oughta, meaning the cup, the communion pail that's at the back of the, the church with the irradiated waters in it. You know, pass the cup, you know you oughta, because that's what we're doing here. You know you oughta, come to sup that glowing water. Come to sup that glowing water, sup being the past tense of sip. To use their war to spread our order. That was the one I was about to talk about before the next one came up. To use their war to spread our order. The order of the children of the atom. Uh, to use the war, the atomic war, because their war, the them dropping the bombs, caused us to form the children of the atom to spread our word of what we believe to be holy, the atom, the atomic bomb, the radiation. Use their war to spread our order. And also, you know, it's a play on, you know, chaos and, and order, and war is chaos, and, and you know, peace is order. Uh, you know, there's that belief system with that, and you, 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 without one you have, you don't get the other. Uh, you know, so, you know, from war you must have peace, and you're, you know, from chaos you must have order. You know, you have to have order to get rid of the chaos, and you know what I'm saying, I think. I'm kind of fumbling with it, but I hope I'm getting my point across. Also, uh, for some folks out there who, who are wondering, like, you know, yeah, you're doing this one. This one's not nearly as comedic as some of the others. It still is mostly comedic, though. Um, why haven't you reacted to this song that isn't comedic? I assure you I have. If you're looking for a stupendium reaction by me, and you don't find it on my channel... It's on my Patreon. I've reacted to every one of their songs at this point, except for Shine Through, because I watched Shine Through on my own, uh, knowing that one wasn't comedic, before I decided to start doing non-comedic reactions uh, exclusively over on my Patreon. But, uh, yes. Something I'm, uh, I've already done. Uh, I, I enjoy all of their songs, and the non-comedic ones I've reacted to exclusively over at Patreon. So if you're wondering where it is, that's where it is. Anyway, continuing. Yeah, that was the Geiger. The song title, Divide. Time to be united and divide. Well, that doesn't make sense at first, right? You know, how can you be united and yet divide? Come together, split the atom. That's where the divide is. Now the scholar pats and hollers, and the scientist bemoans. Them physicists throw hissy fits, and academia drones. Them physicists... Them physicists throw hissy fits. Oh, man. It's such a simple line. 
but the internal rhyme scheme on it is just so simply perfect. Uh, that's, that's a great line. I just love that line. Through leather blitz all articles on theorem so possible, the cast are modern particles apart from Adam's throne. Wow. Okay, no, I gotta take it back. <laughs> I gotta take it back, because that series of lines, number one, the rhyme scheme in them is, it is, is phenomenal, but the whole idea of it is great. Okay. It's throw hissy fits on academia drones. Through lathably dull articles on theorem so far. Through academically, through academic dull articles, meaning, you know, scientific papers that are kind of dumb to read. It's, it's dull, it's boring. Uh, on theory, theorems so farcical, so like you know your theory, I find it laughable. It's 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 a farce. It's not. I find no truth in it. The cast are martyred. That cast are martyred particles. Holy shit! What a line. Martyred particles. Now a martyr in most religions is you know, uh, I can't really define it well, but you 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 know what a martyr is in most religions. Uh, to call the particles the martyrs in the religion of the children of the Adam is just an, a brilliant idea to show how far gone these people are in their worship of what they worship. The specificity of it, to call the particles the martyrs of your religion, that's so good. That's so good. From Adam's throne. Yeah, that, that cast those martyrs away from Adam's throne. Adam being your god. The, their god, anyway. Uh, away from their throne. To cast them away as martyrs. To be shunned. Some phenomenal lines there, man. So good. They'll say we've conducted studies. They'll say we've the fact to prove that energy's just energy. Now, blessed brethren, you've got to listen to the numbers. Yeah, so, so basically decrying kind of modern day parallels here that, you know, the religious don't believe the scientists. The scientists have theorems, only theories backing them up. You know, they're in their scientific findings that, you know, by the way, uh, this is just energy. It's not a higher power. It's just energy. And also too much of it is going to give you radiation poisoning and you'll die. Uh, we don't choose to listen to them because, you know, we have God on our side and our God happens to be the atom. Uh, the real world parallels to that, again, coming forth, uh, very, very much uh, unsaid, but not said. Uh, Sorry, it, uh, did you ever forget to pay your mouth bill? Uh, so, no, I, <laughs> what I mean is, uh, thank you, Matt Bronger, for that line, it's amazing. Uh, the whole point of it being is like, yes, there is this underlying parallel to a lot of what people nowadays believe between religion and science. Um, but I tripped on my face trying to say that. Whippy! All right. Whippy? What's whippy? I meant to say whoopee. Again, see, you know, it's a new tongue. I, I had to replace it. I lost the old one in the war. Because the experts yell and do. Put your faith into the data. Left out your back <laughs> That's okay. Let's take a moment here to talk about the production in this video here, because I've meant I've mentioned it in passing in a lot of things. The set design is really great. There's a lot of pipes around, and it, it looks authentic to the world. But this shot here, with the you know. What do I want to call it? <laughs> I almost called it a sundial, and it's not quite a sundial. Uh, windmill, I guess you could call it. Something like that. It's, it blows on the wind. It's a windmill, essentially. It's a very small one. Obviously using, like, the corrugated iron that you see on all the buildings in the Fallout games. But it pulls out, and we see it's on top of the church, which is where everything is taking place. Uh, I don't think that's a 3D render. I don't think that's a drawing. That is a building. Now, it might be a miniature. I'm not sure, but I'm leaning toward that being a miniature. So that said, that's already amazing production. They built 
probably in scale, uh, a miniature of this church to film for this thing. Phenomenal. It's, you know, miniature work is, you know, a, a hallmark of a lot of filmmaking. And uh, the filmmaking techniques that Stupendium always brings to their videos, uh, be it old ways or new ways in their animation and their CG, or doing something, something like this, which is, you know, kind of scaling more to here's a, a miniature that you're bringing into the shot to kind of show that it's a real building uh is just it's just great i love that i hope it's a miniature i don't actually know um but uh I, it feels like a miniature to me and that's why i'm bringing that up and that's what my initial reaction was in seeing that i'm sure someone will tell me i'm different it might even be stupendium leaving a comment in which case thank you again for watching i appreciate it um, but yeah, no, just absolutely loving this and rambling on like I always do. Just praise each day the nation, leave them to their calculating, for their hearts and minds are lit. I have to go back and, you know, I, I was so worked up about the, the design, I forgot to listen to the lyrics. So, <laughs> take it back a little bit here. They'll say we've the facts to prove. I love that. You know, yes. Uh, oh, science and all your proof. Meh. Yeah, I get it. It's great. Yeah. Oh no, you must listen to all the experts. They clearly know what they're talking about. The data is what exploded. The data being the war and the bombs and the dropping and fighting and explosions. Anyway. Or just praise each detonation, leave them to their calculating. <laughs> Let them do the worrying about the proof. Just put your praise into the detonation. Just worship what you want to worship. Mm, that's not dangerous at all. Uh. For their hearts and minds are led, my friends. Ain't nothing pervading. <laughs> Their hearts and minds are lead, my friends. Ain't nothing permeating. Nothing gets through the lead. In radiation and radiation testing, a lead shield or a lead shelter uh, is what is your defense against the radiation getting through. And, you know, you say people have a, a mind of lead, you know, it's, it, it's too solid. Nothing getting through that, but... To have that juxtaposed against actual radiation and a love of radiation, a worship of radiation, and the atom and everything. Just just great writing. Feel his radiance radiating. Not just glowing, but glowing. Uh, yeah, I love that. Uh, there goes somebody else. I'll leave it. Oh dear. Radiation ain't a danger, just purificating right. Wow. Uh, it, it's just it's just the holiness of the atom being absorbed into your body. Yeah, yeah, that's what they believe. Uh, and I just standing there with that makeshift sledgehammer that's like clearly something you can build in the game. Ah, so good. What's a fate of Asian versus little half life? <sighs> What's some faint emaciation versus living a half-life? This is not a reference to the game Half-Life. This is a reference to how radiation halves your life, your life expectancy, your lifespan. What's some faint emaciation? Uh, they are praising living that half-life. You know, your life is halved... And that's a good thing, because that means you have welcomed the radiation. You have welcomed the atom, the worship of atom, into your body. So what that you might get a little skinny because of that? The faint emaciation, meaning that you, you're getting a little gaunt. Your, your body is sickly. That's what causes the emaciation. Um, getting emaciated. Uh, so, yeah. That's... Just a great line. Wow. Here's the the price of hope. I promise you will find. <laughs> you likely won't see signs of growing cognitive divine. 
you likely won't see signs of cognitive of growing cognitive decline as it focuses on a person eating their hymnal. Jokes. I love it. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Mind all of that as someone Monty Python's themselves to death. <laughs> you know, it's it's the scene in in uh, Holy Grail. It is to this requiem slam. You know, just uh, <laughs> the monks. It, it, it's so good, and they did it with a dinner tray and fell over. Uh, take it back just briefly here, just to get that line again. Yeah, don't worry about it. Two hundred years. Are you saying you're a ghoul? That's amazing. <laughs> Bright-eyed and ionized. Holy crap! Things are glowing. Shouldn't be glowing. <laughs> there goes. The instrumentation is so good. This is. This sounds like a legit full band orchestra. Like, those horns are legit there. Uh, uh, at least to my ear. I, my ear's untrained, so I don't know. I could be wrong. But sounding to me, like, you know, I'm hearing this and I'm like, I can see a pit orchestra playing this in a musical. It's phenomenal. So those who seek that glowing calf... There's the idea of the golden calf uh, in uh, m most uh, Christian religions of, you know, you shouldn't worship the golden calf, you should, you know, worship the god, no, no others above god. Um, that's the whole thing Kevin Smith did with Mubi. They called Mubi the golden calf. It's in the Mubi dogma. And, you know, they most people were placing their worship on this idol, this golden calf that was, like, marketing, especially uh, Disney allegory, basically, uh, and people put that above, you know, worshipping God. Um, but, you know, they're actually coming out and saying it here, you know, for those who seek that glowing calf. Because their God isn't just golden, it's atomized and glowing. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the chorus here. I think a third character is coming up, and the congregation gathering behind them as they're as they're looking out the window. <laughs> Just great set design. Well, they've just anointed that person uh, and blessed them. Although it was kind of the, a little bit of the symbol of the cross, and I don't think that's the symbol of, of Children of the Atom. I could be mistaken in their hand wavery. Um, but also this outfit, it, clearly they're all the same person. Just every time they take the Voca stim, the outfit changes, which is kind of a neat side effect for pills. Um, not something I would expect. You take a pill and your outfit changes. Sure. Um... Sometimes narrative devices are funny to me. That's all. Uh, but yeah, I <laughs> blessing and anointing. It's like you know doing the Ash Wednesday stuff. I'm not a very religious person. I just went to Catholic high school. Um, <clears throat> in our bond, we find salvation in our oh, it's not a cross. I was I was misjudging. There was a dot and like an atomic. Uh, radiation symbol, uh, or a flux capacitor if you're that much into Back to the Future. Uh, it looks a little bit like the flux capacitor, but it's also like the warning symbols to let you know that there's radiation in something. And so they've, instead of the, the cross, it's done a diagonal there with a dot in the center. That's great. That is very clever to have that be their symbol. And, you know, for an Ash Wednesday type of thing, uh, great. 
One blessed bomb in Megaton did set us on this path. Okay, so yeah, there, you know, it started in Megaton, but it clearly has moved to wherever this locale is. And lead us on to Genesis from Eden's Aftermath. No okay, from Eden's Aftermath. There is something else about Eden. Uh, I'm not super up on all of the lore of the game. I, like I said, I was playing through Fallout 3 for a little bit uh, before I went on vacation. I haven't played it in a couple weeks, and I just started Star Wars Outlaws, so I'm probably not getting back to it for a bit. <laughs> but, uh, so I'm not entirely up, but, but the name Eden, I think, is actually a place or a location in the games that has some meaning. Uh, so I'm sorry if I missed that entirely of what that's supposed to be up, but, but I did catch that it is something in reference to the game. Confession without addition, come attend Atomic Mass. No creator without craters, Adam's Eve sure was a blast. Wow. Okay, that's great. Uh, no creation without craters. You know, the, the, the creation of the, the children of the Atom was started by the bomb dropping in Megaton and not exploding. Adam's Eve was sure a blast. The, the, the Eve of Atom, the day before the Atom fell or, or or exploded or what have you um, in the day before. It was such a blast because the children of the atom weren't born the day the bomb dropped. They were born the day after the bomb dropped, when people were still were coming out and being survivors after that. And that's when the worship, you know, so the eve of, of atom, you know, atom being God, the eve of it was the bomb exploding. So good. So good. His light shines inside us as in yeah, Adam's light shines in every bomb. Every atom bomb, anyway. That fell, because they were all atomic bombs. Uh, and of course it shines inside you. It's it's irradiated. It's going to shine. It's going to glow in, in everyone who gets near it, because radiation. And it's dangerous. Mm -hmm. I think I've stressed that point enough, probably. From first man to little boy, we're all just mortal shells. Oh my god. Puns. Puns, puns, puns. From fattest man to little boy, we're all just mortal shells. So in Fallout, the game, there are different types of weapons that have names Fat Man and Little Boy. They are, remember those, those little mini nukes? Fat Man is a bigger nuke and Little Boy is a smaller nuke. And we're all just mortal shells, from fattest man to little boy. So when talking about the people, they are the mortal version of shells, or a.k.a. ammunition, a.k.a. those weaponry. I think the fat man is the gun, and the little boy is the bullet, actually. Maybe. I, I just recognize that they're in the game. Um, but now thinking about it, I think the fat man is, is the, the actual launcher. It's a fat man launcher, and it launches the little boy mini-nukes. Regardless, we're all just mortal shells, meaning we're all just people ammo. <laughs> That's what mortal shells equates to, essentially. Uh, meaning that, you know, fat man is a fat man, or it's the fat man. A uh, little boy being a small child, or a little a bullet called a, uh, a mini-nuke called a little boy. Mortal shells. Great line. Great line. Yes, the shell encasing encasing his creation. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Never mind what everybody else says. You are here. You are righteous. Fill your glass and take in the communion of this irradiated water, so you can feel Adam's holy light within you. Essentially. <laughs> you think that you're gonna get somewhere saying what what the scientists believe? You have a better chance of, of that happening than than meeting Einstein on the beach. Einstein, who's been dead for thousands of years by the time the Fallout games happen. <laughs> Wow. 
if you put your following in the money, you'll find that you're overburdened, uh, which is a problem in the Fallout games anyway, although money doesn't really weigh anything in the Fallout games, but you find you're, if you keep building up your, your earthly burdens, you'll find your, 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 your earthly... Co uh, what's the word I'm trying to say? Your earthly possessions. There we go. If you have too many earthly possessions, you'll find you're overburdened. Yes, and you can't move, because you're, you're, you're over your weight of the stuff that you can carry, which is an element of the freaking game. To work that into the lyrics, to have that me have that double meaning of, you know, hauling your bursting bags. Uh, you know, those stocking stacks of bottle caps. Those stocking stacks, stacks of bottle caps and hauling burst in bags, meaning like your your earthly possessions, leave them behind because they'll they'll over encumber your soul, or something. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's so freaking good. Yeah. Oh. You won't need your money where you're going. Those bottle caps that won't encumber your soul. So use them as your tithing and your your you know fill the coffers of the church. <laughs> it's just puns. It ain't just but bright, it's positively glowing. Of course it is. From the radiation. <sighs> just... It's just a masterpiece, y'all. It's just a frickin' masterpiece. Let's get that water flowing! <laughs> A warmth, of, a warmth of welcome. Yeah, that's not radiation at all. Uh, the outfit, man, like gone full bore evangelical, like televangelist evangelical, uh, with the cape and the giant headpiece. Uh, the, the crazy is strong in this one, is what I'm saying. Uh, it's just great. I love it. Wow, no, I gotta take it back for that line. What power found us here over this most hallowed ground zero? There are many instances of Stupendium writing a line that leads, that the rhyme itself does not end the line, but leads into the beginning of the next. So, here... What power finds us here does not rhyme with zero, but the O that begins the next line makes that line rhyme. Over in or, O apostrophe ER is a uh, musical shortening of the word over. So instead of saying over, it's a or um, to get the consonant spacing scansion right. But basically, <laughs> ending here with O and just having that carry over, so hero rhymes with zero, but you're not saying the word hero. Here, or our, just to have that connection line. They do it a lot in their songs, and it's always brilliant when they do, and I have to point it out. That's all this is. <laughs> Robert Oppenheimer as our prophet up on high, my brothers. Wow. So good. <laughs> in, the, in the fog we found our answers on a modicum of cancers. Puke. Uh, <laughs> that person looks familiar. I can't remember. I don't know if that's Connor Quest or not. I could be wrong. I don't... I'm not sure. Uh, but <laughs> it's still a really funny part. <laughs> We 
We can just pray the rat away. Rat away is a thing that you take. It's a medicine that you take to get rid of the radiation. But they just say pray it away instead, which some religions say about certain medicines too. Uh, absolutely phenomenal. By the way, uh, I apologize if the audio, I'm, though I'm saying it late here after 40 minutes of this video, uh, but if the audio gets a little crunchy after I've paused, it's the capture thing. I can't do anything about it yet. I'm trying and trying to figure it out. If it doesn't do that, fantastic. But I've had some complaints about the audio. I'm aware of it. It's just with the capture itself. Not really a whole lot I can do with it, so I apologize for it sounding like mm -hmm. shit. Um, I'm, I'm trying to do what I can with it, and there's only so much I can do. Sorry. Uh, suspected spam is calling me. That's neat. All right. Well, won't we dust on Judgment Day? Yeah, just from the bombs. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and to have the atomic symbols with glowing paint that when they put the black light on show up that's great that's great detail that's a, a great look and because of the black light all the water looks even more iridescent it's so good Diva. oh that that's a bomb that you keep hitting Whoops. Nice! Yeah, I had a feeling we were going to see a, a mushroom cloud outside of the model there. And feel the Geiger counter ads. That's so good. My most atomic apostles. That was a brilliant way to end the song. He, they kept smashing their fist on the podium, and that set the bomb off. The nose fell off to reveal that, yes, they were a ghoul. That's how they've been around for 200 years. And then the bomb explodes. Absolutely phenomenal. It it tells a complete story in a full musical number. Uh, just uh, just to show, like you know, in this evangelical gospel uh, ditty that they've composed here uh, about the, you know the children of the atom. That's phenomenal. Let's take a moment to to check their outro here. Friends, Clarissa and Fissile, thank you for joining us here today. And on to those who give up their caps to our cause, Adam smiles upon you. Adam Glory smiles upon the patrons. make the good work we do here and my private for the bird possible. <laughs> so forth and be enriched by the chain reaction that is the playlist of our other musical teachings. Of and course. be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell. May it call you home here to the glow of our next service. That's, you know... I love that every one of their outros that, that Stupendium does are always within character and within the universe of the actual song that they've been doing. It's such a beautiful touch, and it's you know it shows the the love and dedication that they have for their work. And as light shines upon those who do so adorn themselves and their walls on our most stupendous merch. Merch. We're exclusive. All right, uh, but we, we 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 know how how the rest of that goes. Instrumental composed and arranged by Tim Maslov. Uh, absolutely wonderful composition, uh, great orchestration, uh, mixed by Ilya. Uh, I'm I'm probably going to butcher uh, that last name, so I apologize. If my, I apologize if I mispronounce it, but Lukashev, uh, I, that might be it. There's a Roomba going on in the other room. Sorry if you hear that. Exclusive um, Divide merch is available. Amazing. I'll be with you, my brothers and sisters, but be ready for after the fallout comes the winter. After the fallout comes the winter. It's probably a hint at their next song. Um, go show Stupendium some love. Link to this video without me yammering all over it is in the description box below. If you did like my video, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help my channel out, consider supporting my Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos, get your name in the credits over here, uh, get my music and comedy exclusively early, these videos early, all sorts of extra reactions and stuff. I'm out of words and breath, so we'll end it here now. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Good.